what hole are we drilling on what wall are we drilling it and why are we drilling a hole in the wall in the first place hey it's anthony anarino of thesalesblog.com right here youtube.com forward slash anarino and author of the only sales guide you'll ever need except I wrote another book. I told you that, haven't I? Okay, so here's a revision. A revision to chapter nine, accountability, owning the outcomes you sell. Here is what I wrote, and I stand by most of this. Finish this sentence. I sell, period. If you answered with anything other than outcomes, you are wrong. If you answered with your product, service, or solution, your answer is so off the mark that it might destroy your ability to succeed in sales. There's an old saying in sales and marketing that comes from Theodore Levitt of Harvard. People don't want to buy a quarter inch drill. They want a quarter inch hole, period, end quote. Great saying. I've loved it for years. I've used it for years, maybe decades. People don't want drills. They want a quarter inch hole. They want the outcome. So let me tell you what the revision is. This is what's changed in sales. And I can't think of a better way to explain this to you than saying this. What hole are we drilling? What wall are we drilling it in? And why are we drilling a hole in the wall in the first place? This is the role for a salesperson now. If you wanna be a trusted advisor, if you wanna create new opportunities, and I know you wanna be a trusted advisor, you wanna be a consultative salesperson, you wanna be a rainmaker. If you're gonna be those things, you have to create opportunity. And the opportunity is no longer, I show up and the customer says, I want a quarter inch hole. A customer doesn't want anything when we show up now. They have dormant dissatisfaction. They're not unhappy. They're entrenched in the status quo. They have post-traumatic recessionary stress disorder, and they're holding on to money because they're afraid that the next recession's coming, and they're not going to be able to do anything about it. So we have to create the case for change. And the case for change is, let me tell you why you need this hole on the wall. Let me tell you what wall you need to put it on, and let me tell you why you need a hole here in the first place. That's really what we sell now. So this has changed. It's not about drills. It's not about holes. It's about why are we going to change at all? And if we do change, how are we going to change? And if we do change, what do we get from making that change? What changes for us in such a meaningful way that it's compelling enough for me to change my whole organization, start aligning people and building consensus, start aligning resources, drop everything and shift direction and go someplace new, because that better future has to be so compelling for me to do all of these things. So it's no longer about the drill, and it's no longer even about the hole. It's about why are we gonna drill a hole on the wall, what wall are we choosing, and then we can decide where that hole goes and how we get there. That's what's changed in sales. It's not about the drill, it's not about the hole, it's about why we're doing whatever it is that we're gonna do. I'm Anthony Anarino. this is every day. So hit the subscribe button because as you might have guessed from the name, we're going to do this every day. I'll give you some insight, something that you can take action on right away, or something like this just to shift your mindset. Now we're going to throw up the big banner so you can visit me at thesalesblog.com. Go there, do sign up for the newsletter, my best piece of work every week, in your inbox Sunday morning so you can hit the ground running Monday. I'm Anthony Anarino. See you tomorrow. This is Every Day.